They defied the shift of the right elsewhere in Latin America and elected the world's first left-wing paraplegic president, Lenin Moreno. The former vice president under outgoing leader Rafael Correa spoke and sang to cheering crowds in Quito, his home city. I hope we can continue to build the country we started to build 10 years ago. I hope for justice and more work. He will fight for us. Long live Lenin. Voting throughout the day was reported to be generally peaceful, with a turnout of just under 80%. The problems began even before the Electoral Commission had started counting, when Guillermo Lasso, the conservative banker from Guayaquil, declared himself the winner and his supporters began celebrating. They later gathered outside the Commission's headquarters in Quito, saying they'd remain until their complaints were addressed. We're not going to recognize Moreno. We knew there'd be fraud and we're all going to fight it. Enough of this tyranny. Earlier in the evening, Lenny Moreno was wheeled through the street. Police kept the two sides apart. The outgoing president, Rafael Correa, prides himself on having re-established stability here after years of political turmoil. But the divisions papered over during his 10 years in office between rich and poor, between the coastal area and the mountains, between left and right, appear to have re-emerged. A fighter for rights for those with disabilities, Lenin Moreno promised to continue with President Correa's social programmes. But Ecuador's economic crisis may curtail his ambitions. Even if his win is confirmed, I think the economic conditions and the political mood will impede Lenin Moreno continuing as a radical, and he'll have to reform, to some degree, his original agenda. Ecuador is a country divided. All sides have appealed for calm. But the tension is likely to remain while both candidates claim to be the rightful president. Daniel Schweiner, Al Jazeera. Quito.